Alan, as an expert in cryogenic grinding technologies, tell me about the key benefits of Air Products' new PolarFit Ultrafine Grinding Mill. There are several benefits that are really important to us at Lehigh. A couple of probably the critical ones are the range of particle sizes that it produces. Uh, the unique combination of equipment and cryogenic processing allows us to produce some of the smallest particles that are available in our markets very efficiently and at low cost. Okay, so how does the mill differ from uh, competing mills used in the industry? The majority of the technology that's out there already really relies on pressure and grinding to push particles through a sieve to give you the distribution that you need. This technology is totally different and it relies on impacting frozen particles with a very complex internal system to produce that distribution all at once. Totally different than anything else that's out there. The way we talk about it is imagine a jet engine with teeth and that gives you a good sense of how this mill operates. Tell me about uh, some of the key features of the mill. There's a couple of things that we believe really matter. Uh, the first one is the throughput or the efficiency of the mill. How many pounds of material you can get through in a short time. That obviously drives economics, efficiency of nitrogen use, and also how kind you are or how gentle you are to the chemistry that you're putting through the mill. All of those are very, very important to the markets that we're serving. A couple of other factors that are important, I think for many markets, uh, ease of maintenance, fairly low capital cost, very robust, uh, and very reproducible performance from time to time to time. So how does this technology support penetration of new markets for micron scale powders? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's unique in its ability to produce large or industrial sized quantities of micronized powders. I don't think there's another mill technology out there that can do that, uh, and certainly it can't do that with the economics that come with this technology. 